Traditional computing rests on this basic idea of you have two computing elements, a CPU and a memory. And neuromorphic computing is throwing that out and starting from a completely different point on the architectural spectrum. Our own brains are remarkable in what they can do. We're simply trying to learn from what our brains, the brains of animals, can do to make systems that are smarter and more efficient. What we're looking for is to connect all of the neurons in the chip much like we would with an actual brain. So neuromorphic computing is basically the concept that we're going to simulate the brain in silicon. Neuromorphic computing will show up where they find an application that benefits from being able to embed the intelligence into a device, initially in areas of robotics, autonomous vehicles, where the power and the size and the adaptability are really beneficial. There's a number of different ways it can go, and we can see it filling out the whole extent of machine learning as people have envisioned. So it's a generalization of computer architecture to really provide the right tool to implement artificial intelligence. What Luigi provides is, just like your brain, it's going to connect up neurons to get together, and the way your brain learns is it changes the connectivity between your neurons. What Luigi gives you is the capability to build a network, and then you feed in data, and then it will change the network as you're going and learning, and it will tell you what the result is online, at the edge, in low power. It's really fun to be a part of a project where we have the strength of a company like Intel to invest in these areas and to really solve these hard problems with the whole portfolio of great technology and talent. And neuromorphic computing is, a, is an extremely hard problem, but it's one that Intel's scale and expertise can really be brought to bear and make a real difference in the industry and for the world.